Hi, this is Brad with ProLite Gear, and today we're going to be talking about the new to the States Iger 4000 Zamberlin Climbing Boot. Uh, it is a fantastically well made in Italy climbing boot. It's got some great features. Let's start with the outsole just to start there. Great Vibram outsole, nice lugs. Uh, they sheet snow and ice very, very well, and they give you more surface area on the toe and the heel for if you need to start climbing rock at any point. Flip it to the side, and this is cut EVA foam rather than injected EVA foam. Uh, the injected EVAs tend to break down a little bit faster and, and are less insulating. The cut EVAs are a little bit denser, a little more insulating, so that's what they use here, and they'll last longer. The shank you see here uh, isn't a carbon fiber like uh, their bigger boot, the 6000. This is a nylon and fiberglass uh, shank. They call it Zamberflex. It's, uh, it's still very, very rigid. In fact, it's very, very comfortable to walk in. You can see the sole has a nice rocker and a nice heel brake, so it's really comfortable to be in. Full rubber rand around the entire boot, and on the instep, we are most likely to catch it with a cramp on. They added more rubber up top. This uh, I'm not sure you can see the texture of this fabric right here, but this is all Kevlar reinforced Cordura nylon on both sides. So an incredibly tough upper to the boot. On the toe, they give you a hook. So I know this gator, this boot does have a built-in gator, but should you want to put an over gator on this boot, something like that, there is a hook because there's no laces showing to hold that gator in place. I'm gonna open up this boot and we'll go through here. Nice Velcro closure that runs the entire length of the boot. It keeps the, uh, this is a Riri watertight zipper, an aqua zip, but they do the Velcro just so it doesn't get clogged with snow and ice as well, so it's very, very robust and very easy to get in and out of. This upper right here is four-way stretch Cordura nylon, so it's a real thick, it almost feels like neoprene, but it's uh, going to be more breathable and a lot tougher. This is not a true double boot, meaning that this boot doesn't come out, but this is highly insulated. Uh, uh, inner liner, the booty they call it. Lace system. The laces are pretty small and narrow. They give you metal hook and loops uh, for the lace lock and the closure up to the ankle. Really robust feeling materials in this boot. The uh, insole, it's going to take me a little bit to get out here, but it's called, they call it their thermo insole. It has aluminum, foam, and a little bit of felt on it. And the aluminum really does a great job at reflecting the heat back up to the bottom of your foot, staying warm. So right there, you can see the aluminum on the bottom of the insole. And they use this air vent technology where you step, it's supposed to move air around. I don't believe that, but supposedly it does. <clears throat> and in the bottom of the boot, see if we can get that lit up a little bit so you can see the bottom. But I don't know if you can see the shiny little silver holes down there. But that is another layer of very, very thick insulated aluminum foam. So it's got a layer of aluminum over foam again to help reflect heat up to your foot. As a newcomer to the climbing market in the States, I think this is going to be a phenomenal boot. Uh, just touching them in your hand, I feel very confident they're an incredibly high quality, long lasting boot. If you have any questions uh, about the Zamberlin Iger 4000, please feel free to give us a call at 406-582-0508 or uh, send us an email at info at prolightgear.com. Thanks for watching.